Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can manipulate depth of field in your in-game camera and how you can set it up so that it provides you with that famous cinematic effect of having different levels of blur depending on your camera position and the setup for the actual depth of field effect. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create the actual cinematic camera. We can go to place actors and search for cine. And if you type in cine camera, you get it immediately. And we're going to drag and drop it into the game world. Now I'm going to move it and I'm going to set up a few objects in front of it so that you get that sense of scale and yes, of course, depth of field. And I'm go going to add just simple meshes that are going to be a few cubes that I'm going to skin with different different types of material. Here's one. Let's copy this and place another, for example, here. Let's check out the camera. Okay, and let's copy and place another one all the way over here and we can extrude it a bit like this and place it here so let's see what the camera sees okay and there are in position we're going to move this a little bit to the side cool and we're going to add different textures to these better said materials and let's say this is clay it's going to take a few seconds to render. Let's say that this is cut stone and this can be, for example, pebbles. Now we have different materials. We have different elements that are going to be shown in the game world. All of these are seen by the camera here and they're loading slowly and let's now manipulate that depth of field so first of all let's change the perspective from this general game perspective to the sinistar actor 4 as you can see right here in the perspective setup you have the ability to choose your camera and now we see everything that the camera sees as well Right now, we have this basic or universal depth of field, but we're going to change it. By selecting the camera actor, we need to go to current camera settings and then change focus settings. As you can see here, it's already in the drop menu and the me focus method should be manual and the focus distance, and this is a really cool element, is able to be chosen either through the slider or through the sample scene depth from scene and it goes like this and we can now draw the debug focus plane which is here and now we see where is exactly the focus plane for that depth of field cone better said the setup for the digital iris or the lens we can now modify these to change the current focal length and current aperture so we can change the focal length and we can change the aperture adding or decreasing it we can also change the manual focus distance to this object here and as you can see these are very much blurred and we can go back to the game setup to the universal perspective and add another of these which we can move right in front of the camera to get an even better sense of that change of depth of field yep we can move it just a little bit to the side and we can now 
move this object closer here. Right now, the camera sees all of them and we're going to go back to the perspective of the Cinestar camera actor and we can set the focus distance to this object right here. And now you can see again the focus length and the current aperture which are changing as you can see we're choosing which of these objects are in the depth of field right now they're all blurred and if we add value to them it's moving further out so that we can see these as well pretty sharply but we can to get that effect we're looking for we can decrease the aperture and get that focus on the most prominent front object. Through these settings, you can manipulate and adapt and define your camera focus or depth of field however you like. The use of the sampler makes it even easier and drawing of the debug plan plane actually shows you where the same is located in the game world. By clicking on stop plotting an actor with the current viewpoint, you go back to the main view of the game main perspective. And the same cinematic actor is now set for your depth of field setups, whatever you might like to create them or whatever function or purpose you want to use them for in your own level. So basically that's it, this was the tutorial, it's short, it's simple, it's really easy to apply and it's one of those small but essential showcases that make Unreal Engine so powerful. That's all for this video, hope you found it useful, hope you found it interesting, if you did please consider subscribing, there is also a bunch of other ways how you can support me, the subscription is the easiest one and leaving a like of course, if you have any questions or issues use the comment section below to leave them as well. My name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video and I hope I'll see you on my next one. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.